I was outside and it was raining somewhat and I realized that the inside uh, front area of the house there, the window showed orange and that was not a light being reflected from the window there. It was inside the house and when I realized that I ran into the house, it was three in the morning and uh, I started uh, yelling that it was the house is on fire and we all met up and I made sure everybody was out of the house and um, the fire company came in the meantime and then next thing we know Red Cross is at the door and we didn't call them so it was a surprise and uh, I'm thinking nobody's been injured really my husband figured he was okay and so we're like no we're good and they're like well let us sit down and talk to you uh, one of the things was uh, glasses I had no idea they could help us with glasses, right. so there were uh, three of us that were able to get our glasses replaced through that, which was uh, financially, when you have something like this happen, that's a big help right there. They'd given us a card to help pay for any expenses that we had, immediate expenses. So um, yeah, financially, uh, Red Cross helped us out. Medically, they helped us out, which I didn't think we needed medically, but my husband did. Um, glasses, they helped us out. Uh, they made sure that we had a place to stay. They also brought an emergency uh, bag with them for each each one in the family so you just hand it to you and it's like oh I'm so glad they get where's that bag I need that you know so it was one of those little go-to things that that was there it was available and it made things nicer um to see them coming out that late at night and just to have them come out <laughs> yeah you know, this fire like I said did not make me emotional this does I am so thankful for the people who came out because I when I came out I'm like oh my goodness these people getting up this early in the morning you know because it was after it was after three in the morning that the when the fire was going on and everything Thing. and um, uh, just to have people that are volunteering and to get them they come out like that and they're so calm and they're uh, helpful and uh, I was very I don't know um, selfless of them to be able to, to, to do that for us and I, I appreciate it my father had cancer and he had to go through blood transfusions and I never took that as serious as I did when I finally saw that they were saving his life through blood donations. So that made me really understand the importance of the blood drives and I contribute whenever I can. I believe like 40% of the nation, the blood comes from the Red Cross. That's truly amazing. I'd like to see it increase more here in Cape May County and Atlantic and Salem and Cumberland. Whether it's um, uh, water safety, if it's CPR, it's AED, if it's lifeguarding, babysitting, I mean it just CNN, it just it's just goes on and on and on and it's just people have to go out there and use these skills it's really important if they could get trained and learn and um, my husband had Lou Gehrig's disease and at one point I had through the Red Cross I learned CPR and I was able to save his life one thing it's all hands on deck with the Red Cross they actually all day every day they're there to help people and